attention management versus time management. Over the years, there has been this cliche and consistent teaching from motivational speakers and thought leaders about managing our time. I believe in that concept and I invest so much in making sure I make the best use of my time. But as we all know, the world is changing at a very unprecedented rate and greatly affects our ability to manage our time effectively. There is a saying that movement is not always equal to progress. This is true because we all have the same number of hours in a day and do so much to ensure we come out stops with the results on a daily basis. According to Sabri Subi in his book, Sell Like Crazy, being busy is, is not the same as being productive. Our lives are full of distractions and it's hard to stay focused when the world consists of hundreds of tiny tasks and millions so voices screaming for your attention. Again, the current jet age of the internet and social media make it difficult to manage time, so we easily get engrossed scrolling through several content, which usually end up not producing the kind of result we had originally set out to achieve. On the other hand, deciding what exactly we want to do and focusing all your attention will lead to hitting goals faster than trying to use your time as a yardstick. And this is why I believe that we should channel our energy to manage the things we pay attention to instead of the time we all have, which will never change anyway. Today, we live in a world where we have the ability to achieve so many results. If only we can shut down all the external forces constantly craving our attention. The truth is that you have in you right now all the resources, knowledge, skills, and network we need to do. I mean, like in the Nigerian parlance, right? But you are giving attention to the wrong things. That's the problem we have. You have believed that you have a low attention span so much that you are now scattering the one you have, and there is, that is where the problem is. The fact remains that there will never be any significant result paying maximum attention to the wrong things. Never. Through research and studies, I have become more particular about the short attention span of human beings. And that perspective taught me that perhaps the most critical factor in, is our ability to control the things we pay attention to. Perhaps when we start focusing more on the things we pay attention to, we may just need to worry less about the time we have to achieve all we need. We have. In the end, it will matter more about how well talking about attention and not how long talking about duration. Life coach, this is where you come in. Uh, <laughs> <strategies. well>, uh, <laughs> okay, so well, I think this is a very profound um, thought, right, from Raymond. You know, um, there's been a lot of um, conversations around, you know, time management, and attention management, of course, you know, and um, it's not just about, like he ended with his thoughts, it's not just about how long, but how well. Exactly. You know, there's this um, Pareto principle, the 80-20 rule, 20 you know, 20%, yeah. you know, of 20% um, of the work creates 80% of the result, you know. So mm -hmm. I think it's the ability to find, I always say that being busy is doesn't amount to productivity. You can be busy and not productive. So it's not that I'm busy. What are you busy on, right? Being able to find out what are the important things in your life that creates, you know, the highest impact and then shifting your focus on that. I think time is living its life, right? Time is just moving, doing, when people say, oh, um, I, I, I didn't do time. this because of, I don't have time. We all have time. <laughs> time is living his life. So I think we should all also live our lives. So what we do is to pattern our lives according to time, mm -hmm. right? I mean, by the time we're done with, you know, with this conversation, the time would have gone beyond what it was now. Yes. So, so it's really about finding those high impact stuff and then zeroing in our energy on that. I think in addition to that, um, whilst we find the high impact stuff, it's important that we also remove <laughs> or consciously remove the low impact stuff True. because I mean there's that's there's there's the consciousness or there's an assumption that we feel like okay once I once I'm focusing on the high impact stuff the low impact stuff are not just going to be there anymore but you know you have to consciously tell yourself I'm not going to do certain things mm. sometimes it might even be as responding to certain males True. that are not urgent and important mm. at that mm. point in time. There's, there's this chart that I, I remember being taught some time ago, yeah. um, urgent, urgent versus important. importance. Yeah. Yes, and so you pick the, the four quadrants. Exactly, the four yeah. quadrants. So it's, it's important to find where 
you play at any point in time and understand the activities that you do that will help you yield the results that you want in life because at the end of the day like like raymond mentioned we have just time would never change mm. it's going to always be 24 hours every day forever so we just have to learn to maximize that 24 hours that we have in a day to achieve whatever it is we want to do just before well, elijah chimes in sorry elijah <laughs> to cut in so i remember this now normally say in my all my training sessions i'd always say that you know when we were born we had 24 hours right and our job description was just to maybe cry sleep eat food and then we, we grew further you know the jd added we're running errands for our parents and all the stuff we grew further we went to school we have to be more responsible and all those things yeah within the same duration within the same hour, <laughs> yeah. 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 So our time never increased so here's what yeah. i got from the intelligence there is that you know to be more effective in life we yeah. need to be more efficient and exactly. efficiency is doing more with less time. Less time. With less time. Less time. Will give you more time. Exactly. You figure out how to do more with less. Sure. Yeah. It is. I, I see we all read the same literature. <laughs> you quoted 8020 rule from Brian Tracy's book. You also quoted urgency, the quadrant urgency, important, yeah. mm -hmm, not mm -hmm. important, and other things. But what I'm going to say is that we should always learn to work smart, not ha not necessarily hard. First things first, there is the obvious waste of time. There are some people that actually sit down and do nothing. Perhaps engage in unproductive activities. That one is very obvious. But I want to come to the software aspects. The software aspect is that there are some persons that are actually doing something good, which is great. If they don't do it, they won't put food on their table. But the mannerism in which they go about it is sapping a lot of energy, energy time. one, yeah. and taking more time. It's not efficient. Exactly. So it's up to, to them now, they are working hard. And there's a saying that goes that if you do what you always do, you get what you always get. Mm -hmm. And every day they keep moving in cycle. Every year they keep doing this the same way. They sweat and toy, but no, no growth. But yeah, they are doing something great. And if they don't do it, perhaps their family will not feed. But then they have to be subtle about it. That's where smart words come in. How can I introduce some other mannerism? It could be maybe some machineries or delegation or some things you need to subtly engage. Or maybe there are some aspect of the work, work you are doing that you think you should not do again because the outcome is not uh, reasonable. Mm -hmm. So these are things you need to consider so that you have enough time to do less and have time to rest and also think I, about I, something I, I think for I think for me, uh, just quickly before you wrap up, I think, again, the thing is, is all, also not really about the time we have. It's more about our clarity about um, on what we need to do with the time that we have. Yeah, you know, most yeah. like two people have two hours to finish a job. One person has to shuttle or try to multitask I know around seven things at the same time, which is fantastic if you have that ability. But I can assure you that one person who zeroes their mind to do one thing per time will have increased increased focus, will have increased energy, and will automatically come out with a better result more than the person and in lesser time. He will finish the seven tasks in lesser time more than the person who was shuttling down and doing this and doing that all within the same time time interval i think people should we should really start focusing on more on what we put our attention on not about i need to achieve this in two hours no this is what you need to achieve you need to achieve this i need to achieve this i need to achieve and not the duration that you need to achieve them and you think is if we start thinking in this manner then we'll start spotting the things that sap our time that eat mm -hmm. into our time because immediately you want to press your phone your conscious subconscious reminds you that this is not what you should be paying attention to. Raymond, let me just add this before you go. There is this popular, uh, there is this quote from Brian Tracy I love so much from Eat That Frog. He said, "There is no need of bothering, worry, being worried about tadpoles when there is a live big frog waiting to be eaten." Mm. Think about that. Mm. A live big frog in the place. You need to swallow the frog, and you're bothered about tadpoles. When you swallow the frog, you are just going to be okay. The tadpoles will not will, will actually sort out themselves. He mentioned something around attention management. Do you want to talk about yeah, that? Exactly. I was going to say something around that. So um, it's important that, I mean, I there's the saying that women multitask better than guys, right? So I tend to multitask. <laughs> 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 I'm not going to answer that. So, um, but in, in the pace of multitasking, you have to understand that if I have two hours to achieve five engagements or five tasks, I must ensure that for whatever one minute or two minutes or five minutes I have to exactly. give to a particular tax, 
I'm doing exactly. it without thinking of something else. Hundred percent. Has to be focused. Yes, mm. yes laser focus. Exactly. It has to be focused. Ensure that I'm able to deliver within that short space of time, and then I could spread it alongside. Because you know, you are here. You are doing one work. Yeah. You are chatting <laughs> on the phone. And you know, the beautiful thing is now that we all work laptops and all. You have your WhatsApp, WhatsApp web, open, Telegram, WhatsApp yeah, web, Telegram, you know, open everything all at the same time and exactly, and so you you be responding to messages while you are typing a mail. <laughs> you just feel like a powerful <laughs> woman that you are. And, <laughs> <laughs> and in most cases, it affects the quality of our work. Finally, exactly, exactly. Very true. You know, attention span is really, really, really dropping. Um, so Raymond, that was really a very you know um, thoughtful um, stuff because. Again, people go on Instagram and then they are scrolling very fast. So attention span is really, really reducing. Again, there's this field in marketing that talks about once you can control people's attention, yes. you can yeah. control their emotions, exactly. then you yeah. can create that trigger to buy from you. I can't yes. even control their perception, life, everything. <laughs> you have you have everything. So buy people's attention. So you need to you this need is wake a master class now. I want to buy your attention. You need to buy people's attention. Exactly. And that's what brands successfully do, to buy attention of people. Yeah. You know, perception. Yeah. Engaging control, videos. Influence. Exactly. Stuff like that. Exactly. Yes. So they have manipulation too. Of course, well, at the end of the day, <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the day, you, you make me buy what I never wanted to buy in the first place. Yeah. So, I could say I was manipulated. Right. Okay, so Raymond, yeah, you can close out. All right, Ruth is next after the break. <laughs>